to the Gucci Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and I'm here for our wine review. And I know we haven't talked a lot about them, but since it's the season for refreshing white wines, I wanted to get into some Portugal wine. And a lot of times people think about um, something fresh and refreshing, Cold Chardonnay, a crisp Pinot Grigio, maybe even a Sauvignon Blanc or two. But here's something I think most people don't know. What we have here is a Vin Vierde. So it's spelled V-I-N-H-O. Vin Vierde. So it's, it's Portugal. But that is the region where it comes from. So, you know, if you think about a lot of wines and in Europe, they come from a region and it has certain grapes um, that it comes from. So the grape isn't Vin Vierde. It's something totally different and it's spelled V-I-N-H-A-O. So it's a different way of saying it's Vieja. Um, I'll grab it and we can speak to it but it's really kind of different so um, I decided to have this and what's different with this is the Vin Verde this is a sea stone Vin Verde most Portugal wines has this spritzer to it it has an effervescent view if you look on it when it's fresh and you open it up it has like a sparkling but not quite sparkling because it doesn't have that champagne cava prosecco asti spumante type feel this wine is more tropical and aromatic in that way so you're getting different kinds of flavors and aromas from it but it doesn't give you the, that sparkling it gives a fizz so it's, it's different because when you drink it, you're kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. I thought this was just a regular white wine. But when you pour it, you can see how it fizzes in that area. So this one, let's take a look at it closely. So if you see it, the bubbles has dissipated because it kind of sat there for a little bit. But the flavor is still there. So it's a good Portuguese wine. So let me give you a quick little history, too. We went through port wine. Um, and in the area of Port or Porto, um, and it's in the Douro region. Douro region. So this is where a lot of this is actually grown in. So when you get that in Portuguese, it's big time wine that they go through. You know, I had a. If you want to know a little more detail, go to my review on port wine, and I, it gives you a little more history. But let's check out the aroma on this. So, uh, crisp, um, um, floral, uh, more floral, not that grassy. It's more floral than anything. Um, so really kind of tropical, kind of like melons. I get melons, you know, you always get that lemony type, um, smell to it too, but gets a, a melon, more of a melon to, you know, aroma to it. Let's get a taste. So, very refreshing, very refreshing. You will get the flavors if you have it a little less than that chilled, like highly chilled, cold. You don't want it really cold if you want the flavors. But if you're sitting around and wanting something kind of refreshing, uh, get it cold, but you're not going to get a lot of flavors. You get that fizz because I got a slight bit of the fizz as well. It's not heavy as when you pop it out. And, be, and you don't want it to sit too long because the fizz will go away, just like anything. You're drinking some soda, you're going to get the fizz that goes away too. But this one is really good. Now, here's the catch to this one. Well, most people know the previous grapes that we uh, that what I just mentioned. A lot of people don't know about this one. And this one is really pretty cool to, to have at a party uh, with people who normally have like a really light beer or whatever. This goes very, very well. And here's another reason why it goes well. 
price point less than ten dollars so i go to my um, um total wines and i try to wait until i they can get some things up on the front shelf and i normally grab a, a portuguese or a rose on the front shelf and i had this one for 7.99 a regular retail 10.99 um, so I got it a little less, which was really good. So something different to your summer actually drinking palate and to tell people, hey, sometimes you don't always have to drink your regular white wine. This is a really, really good wine to add to your summer refreshing white wines field. So I uh, hope you liked it. This is Michael, your bougie black brother with Portugal white wine. Vin Verde Seastone from Portugal. Thank you. And get us on YouTube as well as all podcasts download, bougieblackbrother.com or urbanwinelife.com. And that's where you'll get all the different types of wines being reviewed. But uh, you can get it and see it on YouTube because I, I like to kind of show you it. And uh, if you're just wondering, hey, what's new for this week? This is one you'll get from that. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next Friday on Urban Wine Life. Later.